Hey guys, so today is going to be a slightly different video. I thought it would be a good chance for you guys to get to know me a little bit better. So I thought I'd share with you the things that have really changed my life. So the first thing that really changed me was when I moved to Australia. I moved there when I was 18 years old. Um, I just fell in love with it. I went there travelling on a gap year and actually ended up moving there and living there for over three years. Before kind of living in Australia, I was like a massive partier and you wouldn't believe it because I'm such a grandma now. But I used to kind of drink crazy amounts, party and kind of I was trying to escape from life, but I think when I moved to Australia I started to realise that life is really beautiful um, and started to really enjoy it. So yeah, and it was really what got me into everything that I do now. I, I can't quite explain what it is about Australia, but they've got this amazing attitude to life and, and to health as well. And I'd never really paid attention to my health when I lived in Australia and I had really bad digestive problems. And when I was trying to seek out what I could sort of do to help it, I came across this cafe um, in Bondi and I actually ended up working there and I learned so much about food, um, about how to cook and it was amazing. Like I really had never really thought that, you know, food can affect your general well-being, your health, your energy, your skin and everything transformed me, like it really helped with my digestion and it really made me realise what my passion was. You know, it was the first time that work felt effortless. And my parents, um, my mum's a physiotherapist, my dad's a psychiatrist, and they love their jobs. I mean, they both knew what they wanted to do when they were 14 years old. And I've always had this kind of feeling that you should love your job. Um, and that's what Australia really did for me, is it made me find my passion, it made me realise what I wanted to do in life and it made me realise that you know you can love your job and you can really enjoy it. So I guess it was quite a kind of revelation being there. Another thing that really helped me and also kind of stemmed from being in Australia was taking up yoga. And of course the kind of obvious things from yoga, the mindfulness, the relaxation have been really great for me. But one of the biggest things I think for yoga is actually the community. I was never really sporty at school. I wasn't really like part of any kind of groups or anything like that. But doing yoga makes me feel like part of a community and makes me understand why people do those sorts of things. And although you're kind of solely there on your mat, you feel united with other people. And in Australia, I used to go to this place called Power Living and it had that really nice community vibe and I and that's why I always look for when I go to like a yoga class or a gym or something I like that kind of where everyone knows each other's names I like to do yoga in London at Tri Yoga in Chelsea also in Daba and um, Marlebone is really good but there's lots of amazing classes around London I think you've just got to find a teacher that you connect with um, and if you don't live in London or anywhere that has a really great yoga centre I've got some good videos as well so you can hopefully enjoy them too. So one of the biggest revelations that I've ever been taught in terms of nutrition is the fact that fat doesn't make you fat. So I would say from kind of early teens until I was maybe 19, 20, I always thought that a low fat diet was really good for you. I was a Miller Lite fiend, you know, Diet Coke, everything, everything low fat, no fat, because I thought that was the way of keeping, you know, healthy and slim and in fact actually this is not the right thing low fat products are loaded with sugar they're so addictive and you'll eat like 10 miller lights to one pot of greek yogurt and when i started to incorporate healthy fats into my diet from avocados nuts olive oil you know fish all those sorts of things i felt so much better i suddenly stopped feeling like i had to eat all the time um, and my skin got better my hair got better my energy got better and i think that's really what we're looking for and i felt happier i didn't feel so like jittery and and kind of unconscious is the way that i would describe how i felt before and I think so many people think that a low fat diet is good for them and when they start to incorporate fats into their diet, it's just amazing. You know, you really do feel better. So that's probably one of the biggest kind of nutrition myths um, that changed my life. So one of the life lessons that has really helped me is to talk about your feelings. 
when I was younger, I would never talk about anything. Like I remember having a boyfriend when I was like 16. He was like, I generally don't really know you because I would just smile and be really nice. And I'm very good at that. But I would never really express how I felt, whether I was happy, sad, or you know, what was going on for me. And um, when I moved to Australia, yeah, there's a recurrent theme going on. Um, I had a really lovely boyfriend, we're not together anymore. And it was the first time I really opened up about myself. Like I had quite a bad history with food. Um, I think I sort of deprived myself in a way of controlling food. I think everything was out of control. Like my parents divorced, one of my best friends died. Um, and it was just a really weird time. And I think it's hard for everyone when they're in their teens, you're kind of figuring out who you are. And it wasn't until I opened up to him about it and he was the first person I really spoke to. My friends always tried to bully it out of me. I even saw a psychiatrist and I never wanted to express how I felt, but it wasn't until I actually spoke to him that I realized it wasn't such a big deal. And he had kind of gone through his own thing, um, having been really fat at school. And I think when we speak about things, we realize that we're not alone, that other people have gone through the same things. And it's not just about your body image, it's about everything, you know, whether you're feeling anxious, whether you're feeling depressed, whether anything's going on, you've got to speak about it because the more we hold inside, the worse it gets. So, you know, maybe I'm not always expressing myself, but I've made such a con conscious effort to talk about what's going on for me because, you know, you want to have people listen to you. Sometimes you just need to be heard and it makes it feel better. So I really, really hope that you take that on and that you go and speak to your friend, your family, anyone, you know, even write it in the comment below. Just make sure that you're heard um, because it just makes you feel better and you don't want to hold that. You don't want to have a heavy weight on your shoulders. So the final nugget of advice that's really helped me was when I was moving back to the UK, I had a leaving party and I had all my friends there and I was talking to a friend of mine and I said, you know, I want to move back to the UK and I want to set up a website and be this kind of nutrition guru, but you know, I'm scared because other people are doing it and you know, they're much better than me. And he sat me down and he said to me, you know what, there is only one you and you will bring something different that no one else has. And that's really, really stuck with me. And whenever I compare myself to others or think I'm not doing enough or I'm not doing this right, I just come back to that moment. Like I really can like feel and embody that moment when he said it to me because it's so true, like I will bring something completely different to the world that no one else can and so will you, you will bring something completely different. So just remember that, that there's only one you and you know, you've got to go for it, go for whatever you want to do in this world um, and don't compare yourself to other people because they're probably staring right back at you and comparing themselves to you in other ways. So yeah, that's kind of that real, nugget of information that really changed me. So those were the five things that have really changed my life. Um, thank you very much for watching and if you've enjoyed these videos because obviously it's a slightly different type of video make sure you leave me a comment below and let me know um, and also share with me if there's anything that's really changed your life that can maybe help other people. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.